if you haven't heard, Clifton Durrell is a hip hop artist from the Chicagoland area, up and coming. He's got a new album on the market right now. You can check it out. It's called the J- the Day Job LP. Yeah, Clifton, how are you, buddy? Oh man, I am doing awesome, man. It's been a minute. I like, feel, man. Yeah, it's it's been a while, sir. I haven't seen you in a, a couple of years, actually. Uh, from what I know, you moved what down south? No, I, well, I, I I stayed out in um, in uh, like the southern region of Illinois for a minute, then came up to a nice little place called Woodstock, and I'm still wondering why I'm still here. <laughs> it's probably a little less expensive to live out there, I would assume. Oh, yeah, yeah. You get to the point to where it's like, you know what? Uh, things have gotten so expensive to the point where you like to try to find somewhere that's affordable in Illinois. Cause I, 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 love, I love the state. I don't want to leave it. But, man, they're doing everything they can to push a brother out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're pushing everybody out, man. You have to live in Alaska sooner or later. Hey, you know, I... I I've taken their psych bell in order to live there. I think I can do it. You think so? You think you can put up with nine months of darkness? <laughs> hey, man, you know, pajama party, for real. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. So uh, I'm sure living out in the remote uh, regions of Illinois gives you a lot of time to write and, you know, do a little producing. Are you still creating beats while you're out there? Oh, yeah. Every, every beat that's on, well, every beat... That's on the day job LP. The day job album is all produced by me, exception for one because I had a friend of mine from a wide city up and coming group out in Elgin, Illinois, as well, come through and make a beat for me. And um, oh man, it's just a wonderful project. I love that. <laughs> How many other artists you got working with you on that album? Because I know there were, there was uh, some like eight or nine tracks, right? There's actually 19 tracks in total. 19 in total. There were a lot of skits too, right? Because you had like yeah, about, interludes and stuff. Yeah, about five, about five skits, but all the rest are solid songs. What I love about the project is that it's it's for it's for real listeners of, of music. You see, you can listen to one individual track or two individual tracks and be like, oh man, I like this, one like that. But if you listen to the whole, the album as a whole, it tells a complete story from beginning to end. I see, I see. That's pretty cool, man. So you, you kind of weaved a little theme into the whole track list. Mm-hmm. Was there uh, was there any point during the album you were like, man, I don't know if I want to continue this or if, if you're like, this is, it's got to be this way because I've been putting so much effort into this. Uh, I, 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 put it, I put it that way because, well, it's, it's an intricate story woven into the song. So people who really deeply listen to music, like, put it to you this way. If you sit down there and you can listen to uh, Fleetwood Mac, any album for Fleetwood Mac, you will listen to track one, to track seven, or to track one, to track ten, because every everything about that, you know, grips you. It, it grips your very soul. If it's not Fleetwood Mac, uh, for all you um, 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 smokers out there, you know, it would probably be like oh, Dark Side of the Moon, for example. Sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you would sit there and go like, oh, yeah, man, I love that track. Oh, what, the album's over already? Yeah, <laughs> right. It, exactly. It, I wanted it to be an experience for people who listen to music from beginning to end, and as well, I wanted it to be something for, you know, the part-time listeners, the one like, oh, man, I like Trick Seven. What's the name of the song? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you get that a lot. Oh, man. Uh, my, what? My, the, the intro on the album is, is basically me describing myself. So, you know, I go into it and I'm like, my name is Clifton Durrell. And I kid you not, I am say, literally saying who I am. Right. And I've heard people sit in the car and go like, man, I love this song. Who is this <laughs> Yeah, that intro is pretty hot, man. <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks. Man. Yeah, I actually, I I listened to about half the album. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try to, you know, say something that I that I haven't. But I mean, there's just so much music out there, and I'm listening to a lot of local stuff lately because we're doing this on the show now. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, what what kind of what kind of stuff can people expect to hear on the day job? 
Like, uh, is it all just hip hop, Chicago hip hop, or is there some R and B? There is R and B. I mean, R and B is part of part of all the stuff that I've heard from you, man. It's 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 a mixture of um, it's it's something for everyone, depending on what you like to listen to. If you like to listen to R and B, there's some R and B elements to every track. If you like to listen to rap, there's there's plenty of rap on the track. If you like storytelling, it's just basically every track has a meaning. You know, yeah. To be the day job, there's a <laughs> one track in particular that everyone likes. That people that just don't like their job, <laughs> it's called Super Hate. <laughs> super Hate. <laughs> yes. You know, all my hustle, all my grind, super hate my nine to five. It's been like this every day, slowly right. driving me insane. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Actually awesome. wrote that a game works if you've ever been there. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was under old management though, yeah. Yes, 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 under old management. <laughs> but uh this was uh the name of your album, The Day Job, like there was the weren't you working on a previous album that was like uh Something, something about a job as well. Like I can't. Uh, yeah, uh, there were three. It's a three, um, a, a three uh, workforce related songs. The first track is a uh, seven song he called "Pre Employment." Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> that was that was released as a feeler a tester of it was pre employment. The second one, the second project is a mixtape. It's only available at live shows that I do. It's called. Uh, it's called uh, the orientation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you have the day job, which is available, I think, everywhere digitally. <laughs> so yeah. Absolutely, and you can check out all of the day job on uh, the Independent Ear YouTube channel. It's got all your tracks up there, and I suggest everybody go out there and give it a listen, man. It's uh. Cliff's, uh, Cliff's been a friend of mine for a while, and I've followed a, a bunch of his music. In fact, in the old intro, we used uh, to we used to use your uh, your beats from the uh, Lux Flip, man. Ah, uh, yeah. And that. I have you given up on your YouTube channel? Or are you still out there, like you know, just putting up some little ditties that you created? At, at this point, I had to just like, man, I wanted to do so much, but you know, approaching approaching it from a professional standpoint because I'm, I want to be real professional about this. I want to make sure that a lot of people get it. I had to put it on hold, but it's not necessarily dead. We got uh, some projects coming up, some videos, uh, video shoots that will be coming up pretty soon, so it'll be active again. I just had to take it on hold to, you know, get that paper right. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's the it's the job, man. You gotta you gotta make that day job all about rhyming and being an um, MC. And and you know you gotta put work behind it because right now, uh, just to let everyone know that's out there, day job digital LP. If you want to purchase it, you know to support somebody that's actually worth supporting. Right. Just putting that out there. <laughs> it's uh, it's on web. It's on a. Uh, digital download everywhere from Amazon.com, Google Play, um, uh, Spotify, uh, everywhere. So if you want to find it, you can find it. Look up for the rail slash a job and you know, go support a brother for it. For it's sure. Like, support <laughs> support a local artist. You know, yeah. we're, we're trying to, to over dethrone like the Kanye's and the, <laughs> the other oh, guys man. out there. Oh man, please do because you know I, I'm the only person like you know I'm I'm just gonna put this out there. It, I'm 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 normal people just like everybody else. I get up, I go to work, <laughs> you know, I earn a living, I come back. I have no delusions of grandeur because you know what I'm. If you're trying to get a Maybach, I'm trying to keep my car running. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like every. I'm just. I am everyone. I you feel know? you on that, man. I don't know if I'm gonna make it home tonight. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like uh, you know, I, I live on the hill, so I could get my car started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you know I, I, and all my songs approach it from that real level. It's really my uh, 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 autobiography of everything that I've been through. You know, the the rise, fall, and redemption of my life. You know, and this is just real life situations i know for a fact there are people that live through the songs that i wrote so yeah for sure you relate to it 
There's going to be some inspiration for everybody there, no matter what track you're listening to, what mood you're in. Uh, do, you, do you foresee yourself putting out any videos to any of these tracks? Oh, most definitely. Uh, we're actually in talks right now to uh, shoot for the uh, first single that we released. Uh, it's called... Uh, man, what was the name of that? <laughs> it's the Call the Come Up track, yeah. Uh, that was the first single that we released... Um, early last year, well, late last year, actually, before the holidays, we uh, put out the uh, the Come Up track. It's a pretty pretty decent song. Yeah, it's got I, some some pretty bumping beats in there, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm proud of that one. I, I made that one from scratch, and I was like, ooh, this got to be out first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of all of the, the tracks that I listened to on here, I was liking this one. I played it at least four times, dude. <laughs> Uh, in fact, since I got your your whole track list here from Independent Year on YouTube, uh, I'm going to let you go ahead and pick the song we're going to play for you. Uh, did you want to play the come-up track here? You know what? Yeah, we, we, we're going to be in talk for a video, so you know, you happen to stroll on the Vivo or whatever it's going to be, yeah, you get a good heads up for the song. So yeah, come-up track is a good choice. All right, Cliff, uh, I'm going to have you intro the song, but before you do, yeah. do you got any gigs you want to plug? You know, you're going to be a, a, around town somewhere playing, you know, doing a show or, or like, some Twitter stuff you want to p- promote? Oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, I got some shows coming up in February and March, and what I love about these is that they're supporting, they're supporting local talent and local acts. And I got a show coming up February 14th, Valentine's Day, yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's for the ladies. It's, it's for the ladies, it's for the brothers, it's called The Love Show. And it's going to be out in Elgin, Illinois, over at the Gas House. It's, it's benefiting a bunch of various, uh, you know, uh, various uh, charities, because I love charity work, first okay. and foremost. Love it, and I would do that for anything. Um, sure. It's going to be out at the Gas House is February 14th at 9 p.m., and it's at 15 North Grove Avenue in Elgin, Illinois. If you ain't doing anything, come on through. It's going to be a lot of love in the area, a lot of great hip hop vibes. It's going to be just awesome, and we also it it also will be supporting. Now let's see, it will be supporting. The Side Street Studio Arts Exchange Program. So there's a lot of artists out only in Illinois and also in um, Arizona. It's actually exchanging their art programs just for this event. We're raising money for that so everybody can, you know, get here safely and go back home safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's going to be an awesome time. So if you get anything to do bring your significant other come on in you get a uh, couple they pay for one you know for one person it's five dollars at the door it all goes to that and just come up have a good time out in Elgin. all right time. so check it out at the gaslight in elgin uh other than that man you got a website where people can hear more of your stuff outside of the day job lp yep, uh, it's it go up to the uh website it's uh, www.independentear.com um, you can get bios about every group that we have I mean it's a it's an indie label we're upstart we are independent but we're not alone <laughs> yeah right <laughs> we got a whole lot of groups there you can find me more information on our gigs and stuff that I'm doing right there on the website excellent independentear.com <laughs> excellent go, so go check that out independentear.com uh, Cliff, go ahead and intro the the uh, come up track for us. All righty then. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> children of all ages, I would like to introduce to you Cliff and Darrell. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to put this out there. This is the title track to my album, Day Job. That's out everywhere. You can pick it up on every website. This is called the Come Up Track. Hey, don't take it too seriously because it's really important to track anyway. Say so in a hug. <laughs> so enjoy. Excellent, Cliff. All right, we're going to play that right here on, on the Laugh Rails radio show on 89.3 WNUR FM. 
Cliff, brother, thanks for the call, man. And I, I'm going to try to make it out to that show at the Gaslight. Oh, man. Gas house. Gas house. Gas house. Know, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't, worry, don't worry about it. I don't want you to get lost. It's up somewhere in the gay club going, um, well. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to end up at the wrong club. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, brother. Have a great night. Thanks for calling the show. No problem. Man. Take care. All right. Hey. Hey. Coming. Coming. Hey. Hey. Sparkling new and improved groove, the smooth and savage beast within you. Excuse me, man, continue. Underground sound views, got a plan, get in. Bringing your form of all the venues. Continue to bruise, cruise with what I do is the instrumentals. Loop the loony, the fluid, the luminous loose. Push me to move and make grooves, cause most cats don't move me. Sparking the mic with a new life and a purpose. Rhyme tight with a word, this that's a life of the worst. Rhyme with the divine urges to find my soul's purpose. So find truth in these verses, working to make it perfect. Bottom line, I redefine the ill design until I make my greatest hate was falling my respective line. Warning, I'm getting mine. So any haters and naysayers blocking me, it's MC cock the hammer time. Let's go, it's no joke. The hazard of smoke making you choke on your throat. The bottom line is, you be spitting that hot fire, nine higher. You are a sign of crime and king. You can call them minus. Eyes blind about silver line and the super rhyming apparatus. Be the baddest and see the fact is, tell them. Actually, this song is pretty pointless. I mean, it's only the come up to Believe in what you're seeing and them seeing being me in the flesh, breathing the real, releasing in the stress. I manifest my destiny in every lesson, stressing me. My blessing be right in front of me, so I seek that inner peace. Bold as a wannabe be, feeling for killer beats in a rush to crush any red night that you hand to me. Lyrical insanity, mad at me, cause it ain't hard to tell. Heads ringing ill, man, it got you rocking bells. No combination of now, spray your cool J. Been having your head nodding it since the first day. Speakers is knocking, brains can't handle wordplay. Leaving the fiend speakers and haters with blank. Face. Bottom line, I'll redefine the old design until I made my greatest hate. It's all in line, respect the blind. Warning, I'm getting mine. So any haters and naysayers blocking me, it's MC, got the hammer time. Let's go, it's no joke. The hazard of smoke making you choke on your throat. The bottom line is, you be spitting that hot fire, nine higher. You are a sign of crime and king. You can call them highness. Eyes blind about silver line and the super rhyming apparatus. Be the baddest and see the fact is, tell them. Actually, this song is pretty pointless. I mean, it's only the Come up track. The come up track from the Day Job LP by Clifton Durrell. 